Hey guys, my name is Luke. This is Chesapeake Guitar and Amp Repair. Um, I'm right outside of Baltimore, about 30 minutes outside of Baltimore, and I do guitar and tube amp repairs. Uh, this is my shop. It's a oversized two-car garage. My wife still parks in here. This is where this big space is um, when I'm doing big projects uh, like woodworking stuff because I hobbyist as a woodworker. Um, and I also have household stuff in here as my kids' things and uh, a little bit of my outbreak stash uh, had some mice in my pantry, so I had to uh, remove all the stuff out of the pantry and kill mice. I'm a, I can be a I can be a mice killer if I need to be. And um, this is the worst area of my shop. I need to organize it. I need to put some wood racks up. Uh, that's one of the projects that I want to do. But this is where it starts. Um, got a lathe over there. That's my grandfather's lathe, and my little brother uses it to make duck calls. Um, so we get some bonding time when he comes over and builds duck calls. This is my table saw. It was given to me by my good friend Steve Mazza, Mazza. and I built an outfeed table. I built all of this in about two years. We moved into this house about two years ago, and uh, I built everything from scratch. This is a clean slate. Um, I have a HVAC in the ceiling here for registers. I just put these LED lights in, which are phenomenal. Um, I had fluorescent lights and man they were so buzzy and I didn't realize how loud they were but I built all these benches um, I'd like to build a cubby hole here and I'd like to build a cubby hole here so I can organize all the stuff a little bit better and got some stuff waiting to get shipped out and this is about how clean my shop is at the end of the day I try to clean up every day um, you know, it becomes a mess during the day, but I'm I'm fairly organized, so it only takes me about 10 minutes to clean up. Uh, this is my little section, so we'll start over on this section. This is where my gear is. This is where I keep customers' things. This is a, these are the guitars or amps that I'm working on or I'm about to work on. Um, I have another location where I store long-term stuff or, or stuff that I'm not getting around to for a few weeks. Um, I just bought this white high fidelity amp. You may have seen me post about it on my Instagram page. Um, and my got a 56 Junior on my pedal board, and that's my setup. And that's where I test all the gear and have customers come over and, and try things out. Uh, this is, I guess, this is where the uh, magic happens over here. Uh, in the far corner, we'll start with the amps. This is where I do all my amp repair. Got my oscilloscope and my signal generator, which I only have to bust out when it's a really difficult repair. Um, but this is my Variac, and I plug my amp into the light bulb limiter, which goes into my Variac, which I plug, and then I plug the speaker out into this impedance matcher into my attenuator and then from the attenuator it goes down underneath of the bench underneath of the bench is a speaker it's a 250 watt speaker and that's what i test all my amps through um, here's all my organization i like i said i try to stay really organized um my books for reference and notes and cleaners I put all of my harsh cleaners in, and these guys with a hole in the top, um, these are just like seltzer water that I drilled a hole and then put a chopstick in the top. So alcohol, naphtha, acetone, I try to label them different colors so I don't mix it up. Um, and I try to reuse things and repurpose and be environmentally con uh, conscious. Uh, this is from an old dishwasher, I've been using that for about 10 years. Um, built this uh, little holster for some chisels and screwdrivers and magnet strip and I like having a table saw to make I make a lot of tools with my table saw and cut some slots and these are all my nut files and gauges and can't have enough rulers and I have another one over there with stuff I don't use quite as often tape rack dispenser and my tuners and my tape and my this is what keeps me organized I, pr I try to keep uh, three or four projects on my to-do list and then if something goes in the limbo I move it down to limbo and add something else to the to-do list I sell things occasionally and I try to work on my own stuff when I have, have an opportunity um, this is my main guitar working bench 
This is my, uh, this is what I usually use as my vise. Uh, I like it because it's, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know why I like it, it just works well. It was cheap, it was free, I made it. Um, here's my drawers, I'll show you, go through my drawers. They're not as organized as I'd like, but I know where everything is. Uh, I did make this little holster, which this, man, that was the most uh, beneficial organizational moment that I took. Uh, out of everything in the shop, this this thing, I don't have to search for the size of fret calls anymore, but um, these are the things that I use most frequently. And then got my truss rods and a little Kaizen insert thing that I, I don't know, I came across that little piece of Kaizen insert and put my truss rods in it. Or a drawer full of calls, a drawer full of specialty tools. Um, that I use on very specific occasions. This is my sanding drawer with all my different sanding calls. This is my fretting drawer with my different fretting jigs. This is a parts bin. Nuts and uh, electronics and my Dremel stuff, hardware. Uh, this is just kind of paperwork, some more strings and random box box supplies. Oh, almost fell off the bench. Um, what else can I show you? I'd like to build. I'd like to build a uh, a shelf here where I could slide all of, all of the amps that I'm working on on the top, and then have the combos underneath. I'd like to have a little drawer here that I could put. Not a drawer, but a, uh, a set of drawers where I could put my tube tester and I could put uh, my sharpening stuff because I keep my sharpening stuff in there and it's just not very convenient. There's all my glues. You got to have a lot of glues if you want to work on guitars. There's all my paint stuff, which isn't very organized and I wish I could have a different organizational thing for my paints. Um, I don't have very good dust collection. I use a shop vac for my chop saw and then I use the shop vac just around around the shop and my air compressor and my chop saw is flush with the table and then I have a line that goes across my bench so I can move stuff out of the way if I need to put a long piece of uh, wood there I know where to move my stuff back to. We got a little bandsaw and a little drill press Wish I had a bigger bandsaw, although I wouldn't give, I would still keep my little bandsaw. I just wish I had a big bandsaw. Uh, my drill press is a piece of shit, and I wish I had a different uh, drill, pe drill press. Um, so, I don't know. That's it. That's my shop. Um, I like it. I used to work in a 10 by 14 shed which was also very organized but I didn't have have the access for a big table saw and a lathe and and all this open space so I'm happy to have this 600 square foot space to work in and uh, if you have any questions look me up on Instagram Chesapeake Repair Facebook Chesapeake Guitar and Amp Repair uh, YouTube Chesapeake Repair and re, um, yeah, reverb.com, I'm Chesapeake Guitar and Amp Repair. So if you just Google Chesapeake Guitar and Amp Repair, my pages will show up. Thanks for doing this fretboard journal. I appreciate it. And uh, I really enjoyed watching TJ Thompson and DJ Lava Lamp and all the other guys in their shops. It's a really cool thing you're doing. I appreciate it. And all of us luthiers appreciate it. Have a good one. Deuces. Uh -huh.